Today we're reading Deuteronomy chapter 34, the last chapter in a book that restates the law for a new generation. And this chapter documents the death of Moses, considered to be one of the greatest prophets that ever lived. A man the Bible calls a close friend of God and who spoke with God face to face. And I would encourage you to put yourself in Moses' shoes as I begin to read in verse 1. Then Moses went up to Mount Nebo from the plains of Moab and climbed Pisgah Peak, which is across from Jericho. Now the Lord showed him the whole land, from Gilead as far as Dan, all the land of Naphtali, the land of Ephraim and Manasseh, all the land of Judah extending to the Mediterranean Sea, the Negev, the Jordan Valley with Jericho, the city of Palms, as far as Zor, then the Lord said to Moses, This is the land I promised on oath to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob when I said, I will give it to your descendants. I have now allowed you to see it with your own eyes, but you will not enter the land. We all have those mountaintop experiences with God. Moses certainly did. But because of disobedience, following our plans instead of God's plan, we too can find ourselves dealing with the consequences of wrong choices and missing something good that God had for us. So my encouragement to you and to me today is when we face difficult decisions, temptations, or trials, play them through to the end. Pray for wisdom from our gracious God who gives without holding back and make choices that God will be pleased with.